Sometimes I like to be a bit lighthearted about grim subjects, and defining religion can get grim. I have one book that has 110 pages of footnotes fighting about what it means. So to cut it all through, I make it simple, and I say uh, some years ago, eight of us were editors of a 16-volume, multi-million word book called The Encyclopedia of Religion, and I define religion as the kind of stuff you write about in a book like that. Because we made many, many decisions. Is this religion or is it not? Now, more seriously, the other part, I'm an historian, not a philosopher, and I am more a pointer and sniffer than I am someone who says, this is religion, make it fit. That is, as we tell stories, as we probe the past, we look at certain phenomena, and if a lot of people call it religious, we write that down. These are five or six marks. One, uh, ultimate concern, Paul Tilly's uh, famous word, that which you live by or die for, the whole ball of wax, the middle of the night, three o'clock in the morning thing, the whole deal. Secondly, uh, religion is usually made up of interest in myth and symbol. That is, instead of talking in real practical terms, in mathematical terms, in uh, management terms, we talk about four score and seven years ago our fathers brought forth, or in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, or Atlas then held the globe. Or uh, we go for symbols, uh, by which I don't mean the same as a shell is for shell gas, but rather we take the invisibles and we try to uh, talk about visibles. Third would be rite and ceremony, uh, R-I-T-E, rite. We do the same thing to all little boys or maybe all little children. We uh, do certain things when people wed, when they're buried. We greet the seasons of the year, the birth and death of the gods or whatever. Uh, we like to repeat. Uh, fourth, I would say, is um, what I call a metaphysical backdrop, which is a long word that suggests that behind our current drama, there's a bigger show. There's a set of explanations. You might get it from divine revelation. You might get it from uh, thinking it through. But you're suggesting that the humdrum ordinary world isn't the whole show. I don't know any religion that doesn't reach for that. Uh, next, uh, behavioral correlates. If you believe this, then you observe a Sabbath or you send the children to Sunday school, or you arrange the huts in your village so when the sun comes up, they're facing it, or whatever. And finally, and the only one that's in trouble today, is you build community. Historically, uh, people get an overload of the same thing. They reinforce each other. They want community. And today, in what we often call spirituality, we're seeing a, a birth of, a, of an extremely individualistic kind of thing. But I think even there, we're going to find a community will form. So that's the kind of thing I mean by what I put in a big book called The Encyclopedia of Religion.